you have, you've been very career focused from extremely mm. young. Mm. Was it having your own children ever something that you desired? No, I, I suppose when I was really young, I think. I mean, it was just like a natural, that was what's going to happen. And then, you know, different relationships you're in and you kind of, that might have been it, but the timing wasn't right. And then gradually, I suppose for quite a while, I just kind of came to the view that that wasn't going to happen. And, you know, you, I go through different stages and I figure there's enough kids in the world, I, I don't need to produce one, you know. Right, I mean, that yeah. was kind of part of the view. Very happy for everybody else to to do that and to support women. I fought hard for women in maternity leave and yeah. for women to work part-time and men then to be able to, you know, take time off and flexible arrangements mm. in, in the police. So, I, look, I just think it was... Um, I often say to people, you know, I've had enough to do with everybody else's kids yeah. that I didn't need to do that myself, you know. And uh, yeah, right. sometimes when you make comments about parenting, you know, I was always a bit cautious about it. And, but I used to say, look, actually, I've seen the results of some of your parenting, trust yeah, me. Yes, you know? yes. I've done first hand. You know, I felt, yeah, so trust me what I'm looking at. You're yeah. only looking at two examples. I'm looking at <laughs> yeah. hundreds that, you know, you see kids, you know. Do you have any damaged. regrets that you were maybe more career focused so no, you missed out no, on that? Is there a no. part of you that... Look, I have, um, you know, nieces and nephews and friends, kids, and, you know, all of them will lend me their kids, you know, yeah. as long as I like, really. You know, they're yeah. all happy to do that if yeah. I wanted feeling like that. But no, I never... I had a younger brother. I have a younger brother. Um, and, and he was born when I was 11. So I think I kind of felt like much of my sort of motherly instinct yeah. was headed towards him. He's now uh, just turned 50. So he was... Um, he was the sort, so when I went, you know, like 15 and he was going to school, I would go to, to do all yeah. the school things because mum was at work. And so I felt like I'd sort of, you know, brought him up and yeah, you know, yeah. he was incredibly spoiled, trust me. Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I think, you know, I got past that. But I think, you know, the, uh, I, get a, I listened to a line the other day, you know, by a very famous woman who said, you know, you can have it all, you cannot have it all at once. And I'm not sure that's right. I reckon that we can. And I think you can achieve and you can have kids and you can balance it. It is about partnerships. It is about, you know, working out how you're going to do that. And But I'd hate to think for all the fight that we've been in for the last, you know, well, from the suffragette movement all the way back, you know, back in the sort of 1880s, all the way through to the vote and then up to our point and into the 60s and 70s, you know, you should be able to have it. And young women like you shouldn't have to, you know, have the barriers in front of them that are still there in many mm. cases. But, yeah, they are. You know, there's a, there's, <laughs> I'm um, reading a book the other day called, I started to read it, called The End of Men. Right. And it's a very interesting book. And when you look at the like, number of women graduating through universities, the, the sort of, um, you know, the rise of women, and, and that much as, I'm, I'm still not exactly convinced because I don't see all the evidence yet, yeah. but I do see at universities, you know, I watched many, many more women going to university and graduating. Mm. And so there's a kind of an inevitability, but it isn't quick enough. And I, I still think it isn't that, quick enough. you know, yeah. they're holding on a bit much. By this stage, I thought we will have got, you know, like the police have come from, you know, zero, zero percent when I joined, you know, back in 72 to, to now up at about 30 percent for women across the country. Right, right. And in more senior positions, there are women with kids and, you know, the two senior women in Victoria both have two or three kids each. So, you know, it's 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 possible and it's and it's happened, but we just need more of it. And I think, yeah. you know, that sort of um, ways that we all need to keep kind of pushing and recognising and asking the questions about how come it's not happened. Yeah. And supporting, you know, women. So perhaps um, your child to be, if, if she's a girl. Yes. Um, or if they're girls, whatever, you know. Um, you know, won't have to go through the kind of things that the rest of us have. And that would be wonderful. I mean, you know, and then we can all, you know, figure out other things to work on.